An initiative that could change the state's constitution to give victims of crimes more rights could appear on the November ballot. The organizers of Marcy's Law say a crime victim bill of rights would raise the rights of victims to the same level as a person accused of a crime. Advocates hoping to change the justice system in South Dakota to give crime victims more rights say they're humbled to receive such a great amount of support for their cause. The group Marcy's Law for South Dakota has filed petitions to get an initiated constitutional amendment on the November 2016 general election ballot. A proposed constitutional amendment aims to strengthen rights of crime victims in North Dakota. A supporting committee submitted a ballot measure to Secretary of State Al Jager for the November 2016 election. Marcy's Law for North Dakota is an opportunity for all of us to work together and do better for North Dakota crime victims. It is our high honor to work on this initiative for all of North Dakotans and for us to deliver more than 44,000 signatures of fellow North Dakotans to the Secretary of State's office. Marcy's Law would expand the rights of crime victims, a popular one in the state. Another large win for Measure 3 at 62% of the vote compared to 38% of the vote. There were some big measures voted on in South Dakota yesterday. One of the most talked about one was Amendment S, also known as Marcy's Law. Campaign ads featuring actor Kelsey Grammer seem to have worked. I think the uh, Marcy's Law vote was pretty expected. It appeared to be getting a lot of support statewide. It's a constitutional amendment as opposed to an initiative and the differentiation there is that by amending the Constitution, that's not something that the legislature can change. It's only fitting now that Montana is a leader in ensuring we protect the rights of victims. I'm so thankful for the work that uh, Dr. Nichols has done here leading that effort across our country, so thank you. Well, th 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 thank you. This is uh, truly a great day for crime victims and crime victims in Montana, in North Dakota, South Dakota, and uh, as we all know, as victims of crime, we do not have a lot of great days. I really want to express my heartfelt gratitude to all of you who had the courage to come forward and what he spoke about as far as reliving the event, it's, it's something that I know that you all go through and it's extraordinarily difficult. Truly, this is, I think, my way and, and hopefully your way of turning something that is a profound negative into a positive. Once again, this is, a, this is a hopefully just a start. And uh, God willing, the 28th Amendment to the United States Constitution will be a Crime Victims' Bill of Rights. So, thank you.